So, let me tell you how this whole Christmas thing started. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, the Lord sent an angel named Gabriel to a woman named Mary. So, I was up in heaven, doing angelic things, hanging out, floating around, when the Father said he had a job for me. What? Me? Yes, sir! And the angel said... Hey, Mary, you're so blessed. The Lord is with you. Huh? What are you talking about? Don't be afraid. Hang on, let me explain. Um, okay. Okay, God is pleased with you. I mean, really pleased with you. All right. The Lord says you're gonna have a baby, and it's gonna be God's son. You have to call him Jesus, cause that's his name. He's going to be amazing. But wait, there's more. Your cousin Elizabeth, you know, the really old one, she's having a baby too. God's just showing that he can do anything. That's so exciting. I'll do anything the Lord wants me to do. So Mary packed her bags and went to see her cousin. You know, the really old lady. I yelled, Elizabeth, I'm here to see you. It was the craziest thing. As soon as she called me, my baby jumped for joy. That's when I knew she was having a baby. And this wasn't just your average kid. It was the Messiah. I was so excited. I just wanted to sing. Praise the Lord! And then Mary stayed, well, Mary stayed with her cousin for about three months and then she started heading home. Bye! Then it was time for Elizabeth's baby to be born. Elizabeth's husband, Zachariah, couldn't talk because he didn't believe God's message. God said, even though that they were really old, they were still going to have a baby. Told ya. It's time to name the baby. What should we name him? Lauren. I don't know. David? James. Samuel? Red. Red. Hmm. Barnabas? Zerubbabel? Finally, what's up with the cousin Mary? When Mary came back, she told Joseph that they were going to have a baby. Joseph was pretty mad, because they weren't even married yet. God had to do something. He called up an angel. Phew, good times. <sighs> good times. So the angel of the Lord visited Joseph in a dream. I had the weirdest dream. Joseph, listen, you're gonna wanna stay around for this. So an angel appeared in my dream and told me that the baby was God's son. And I was like, what? Listen, the last guy that didn't believe me couldn't talk for a while. So I woke up and we got there. And when the baby was born, we named him Jesus. Caesar Augustus issued a decree. What's a decree? We gotta go where? Oh, like a law. Anyway, everybody had to go to where their families were from. That was not a fun trip. Hey, you try and walk 90 miles while you're pregnant. So we went to Bethlehem and we couldn't find anywhere to sleep. So I got this knock on my door about midnight. Who does that? I begged them to let us in, but they said no. I couldn't give every poor person with a sad story a place to stay. I wouldn't make any money, and we're full. Mary and Joseph spent the night in a stable. <laughs> and that night, the baby was born. Aww. So I was out in the field watching my sheep just like any other night. Then a bunch of angels appeared up in the sky and started singing. I was scared. I was scared. I wasn't scared. I told them not to be afraid, but I kind of have that effect on people. 
He told us to go to Bethlehem right away because the Messiah was being born. <sighs> I love my job. They said we would find him wrapped in cloth and lying in a feeding box for animals. <coughs> Ew, I did not expect that. Hmm, let me think. What else happened? I know there was something. Uh... <laughs> what was that? Come on, Brain! Hello! Hello. Right! Okay. Some wise guys from far away came to see the baby. I know what you're thinking. Fool wise men? Check your Bible. It didn't say how many of us there were. We brought presents. Gold, fragrance, and myrrh. I was going to bring diapers and casseroles, but they said it wasn't appropriate. You don't bring that stuff to a baby king. Yeah, he doesn't even have teeth yet. I told those wise men when they find that baby, bring him to me so I can worship him. It's a trick. <laughs> I had a dream. God told us to stay far away from that guy. I don't trust him. <laughs> After they worshiped the baby, they went home a different way. Oh man! Herod still wanted to be the only king in the land. So Mary and Joseph had to get out of town, quick. I had another dream. It's my busy season. The Lord told us to leave fast. I'm not letting anyone mess with my baby. So we went to Egypt and we hung out there for a couple of years until it was safe to go home. Oh, and after that we- Hold it. I need a break. My hand is cramping up. That's why we celebrate Christmas. There's a whole lot more to say, but that's in a different story.